Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna create this nice pink cut crease uh, eyeshadow look, which is very similar to like a Barbie makeup look. So let's get started. So I'm just using like a pink eyeshadow, a bright pink eyeshadow, all over my eyelid and just above the crease so that I can cut it later. Um, not going with too many colors this time just two colors and we are done so I'm just applying as I said um, taking a big blending brush and applying it all over my eyelid and then at the end towards the end I will just drag it outward using a angled brush so that I get that like you know smoky effect on the outer corner of my eye and it will all look very nice and angled so this is my angular brush and I'm just applying uh, the same color on the outer corners and then just smoking it outwards. Once I'm done with that, I'm just taking like a clean brush and I'm just like, you know, going over the edges and like just smoothening everything out. And again, while I do so, I'm just pulling it out on the outer corners of my eye to get that nice snatched effect. Here I'm taking my clean brush and just blending everything out. So now I'm going to cut the crease. I've taken my concealer on my flat brush and I'm just applying it uh, on, on my uh, crease line and a little above it. Just cutting half of the eyelid, not the full part. And uh, on top of this, I'm just applying a light pink eyeshadow. I'm just patting it, okay? Don't rub it. Just pat it. That's, uh, that way you're going to get the maximum color payoff. Now I'm just applying pink eyeshadow glitter, shimmer shadow that I had in the same uh, palette. Just again applying it on top, just placing it, not rubbing it or not using a brush because again this is how you get maximum color payoff for shimmer shadows. Now I'm blending the outer pink along with the shadow and that is how you get a smooth like you know transition. Now I'm just applying my normal uh, winged eyeliner and also on the inner corner of my eye to give it a nice Arabic eyeliner look. Once I'm done with all of it, I'm just clearing, uh, cleaning my edges uh, using my concealer and a flat brush and just going on making a straight line starting from the eyeliner and then blending everything out and uh, using a setting powder to set everything in place. You can see how that makes a huge difference. Everything looks much like, you know, professional and more, much more neater and cleaner and very sharp. Then I'm just taking the same pink eyeshadow and applying it on my lower lashes and that is how everything looks nice and connected i did my ada as well now i'm using the l'oreal lash paradise mascara okay i really love this mascara trust me if you use like two three coats of this you do not need any sort of lashes it just lengthens it and it also gives you like volume and it looks very natural as well so i'm just using one coat here you can go around and use two, two or uh, three coats and also apply it on the lower lashes as well it like everything looks really tied together and like you know you get a nice eye look all together You can see how the mascara just changed the whole eye look, it just completed everything. Now I'm just doing my regular things, uh, contouring with my contour stick. I know the shade is too light but I have to work with what I have. I thought it would be darker but um, it's just one shade darker than my skin color and I need like at least two or three shades darker. So I'm just blending everything out. just applying my blush with my beauty blender and then i will just continue with my highlighter and that is all for this look
just completing my look with this hot pink lipstick from my glam i really don't use these colors anymore but i had to for this look since it was a pink barbie inspired look So guys that's all for this look I really hope you liked watching this video please make sure to like share and subscribe to my channel and have a great day ahead